and I told you to watch what you say to me. Really? All right, have and have not fans. Uh, it is 12, 15 a.m. I actually just finished recording, editing, and posting uh, my episode review for Room 3. Probably the shortest episode review that I've ever done on this channel. Um, because to be completely honest, if you subtract the last 10 minutes, you know, with Veronica's house and Catherine's house, you know, where the beat down and apologies occurred in both of those houses, the rest of the episode was pretty lackluster. And I, I think, you know, maybe it's because I'm a bit tired and uh, I've had a few live streams and stuff like that done and live tweeting with everyone. I feel like the hype kind has kind of went down. Does That doesn't mean I'm still not pumped about next Tuesday and a cliffhanger for uh, next week, or excuse me, this week's episode being very good. I, I think that I've been able to kind of, you know, reevaluate the scene. I, I watched it a couple more times, not just a slapping, but from the moment that Jim came to Catherine's house, because remember, it's not his house. From the time he came through the door and when he started talking with um, Candace and Hannah, like I really uh, sat back and evaluated. And if you watch my episode review already, uh, then you know I talked about, and I even tweeted about, Hannah not wanting harm to come to her children, which I can completely understand, but I don't think she comprehends the fact that they have almost, almost $9 million. Like it's like 8.7, 8.8 million. That, that's why it's inheritance or what's left of it. They have that in their possession. Yes, Hannah is trying to, she is the one who wants to give it back. Benny doesn't want to sign the documents. And then Candace is trying to steal the money back. Hannah, when are you going to take charge and put your kids in their place? That's what's getting me. It's like you kicked Benny out because he didn't want to give the money back, which led to him being stabbed because he didn't go back in the house when he, um, Mitch told him to. Then on top of that, Candace is just, she was the one that got you into this mess to begin with. Well, technically it was Benny because Benny was the one that trusted Candace when she said it was only a few thousand dollars. And then that led to it being, you know, oh my God, we almost have eight, nine million dollars in here. So maybe the topic of this video, I will be doing a separate video about, um, you know, Hannah and Candace because everyone is asking the question, oh my God, I hope, or, oh my God, is this going to bring Hannah and Candace closer together? And I, I mean, I was thinking that I've, I've talked about that weeks ago, but I think this is a flimsy set of circumstances to bring those two closer together because they're both in the wrong. Like, don't get me wrong. Maybe the title of this video will be, be did Jim get what he deserved in the moment? Yes, because kind of like, you know, David pimp slapping Veronica, you got to remember now. He went over to her house in a rage because he was under the assumption that Veronica had went too far with um, destroying his condo because that's where Jeffrey was when it was really um, Justin. But that slap to me, that was a culmination of everything that Veronica had done up, said and done up until that point. And plus, you know, he she kept pushing and hitting him and she, he was like, look, just stop it. You're going too far. And that led to the slap. In this situation, you know, Hannah went over to Catherine's house in a rage because her son was stabbed and Candace came over there for what exactly did she come over there for? It was kind of a mixture of the stabbing, but then also the money. So her intentions were a little less genuine. So really, when it came down to it, Hannah wasn't going to hit Jim. She said, if anything happened, basically Jim cut her off because once again, we we're going to get the same tired threat when in reality, instead of, ru you know, what's funny how Hannah could rush to the house because she found out her child was stabbed yet. She couldn't be bothered to say, you know what, Benny, get up, get dressed. No games. We're going to sign this document to get the money back to the criers. Then I want to go over there and teach Jim a lesson. That's what kind of should have happened now once again i've said this before i'm not saying that benny being stabbed was right of jim to do but to be honest i feel like hannah has been doing more wrong than her children oh whoa, hang on now jeremy did you just say that and yes and i said this in the episode review hannah needs to realize that her children like yeah you're like jeremy but she's already like talked to her kids and whatnot 
Well, talking and doing are two different things. It doesn't matter how many times she gets the same old speeches because I've said this before in 2018. Hannah has been on the receiving end of so much grief and whatnot when she's the only one trying to do right. You know, things slowly but surely getting better with Derek and, you know, um, working with Catherine again and whatnot, but then her kids get in the way of her life moving forward because she's constantly trying to protect them from the situations that they get their trifling asses into by them damn selves. It's kind of like Jim overtecting Wyatt and Amanda. It's the same rules, but all I'm saying is this, and once again, not to, re not to sound like I'm repeating myself, but I am. If you go back to my episode review, I said in there, Hannah comes from a part of town where, you know, drug dealers, prostitutes, and everything, and people who probably stab each other for $10, 50, $20, $50, and yet you're in a situation where you're in possession of almost $9 million that does not belong to you, and you're dealing with people who are ruthless. Like, the fact that Hannah didn't even want to believe that Catherine was with two men not barely half her age is astonishing, yet... I'm wondering what will she do if she finds out that Catherine Cryer had killed Jennifer Salison in cold blood. I wonder what her reaction to that will be. Now, I'm saying that Hannah needs to realize that, you know what, Catherine is easy to deal with, but Jim is a whole nother story. And Jim is absolutely right. This goes back to the episode where, um, you know, Hannah stormed away from the house, left the car and everything, refused to ride from Derek, and she took the bus. In that episode, I agree, like, I felt bad that Jim was, you know, um, pretty much yelling to, at at the top of his lungs to her face when she was the one that was trying to give the money back. But once again, I can understand why Jim would be upset. Yeah, he's a son of a bitch. Yeah, he's dirty and everything. But at the same time, Hannah said tomorrow morning, me and my son are going to go to the bank. And I know for several episodes, Jim was like, it's like almost noon and the money still i hadn't gotten an alert that the money's in the bank account captain's like i trust hannah and that's all well and good hannah is trustworthy but her children are not so the fact that her adult son with some kind of childlike mentality now refuses to sign the paperwork i think at that point you know jim had every right to say you know what hannah I tried to play nice, and yeah, he has said a lot of things to her face and behind her back that shouldn't have been said, but at the same time, it's like, we tried doing this your way. I was patient. You and your son went to the bank, but guess what? He refused us to sign over. This is over $8 million, and I'm not playing, so you know what? If he's not going to sign, I'm going to send him a message, and then, you know, with her, and then she pretty much is sitting across from her trifling daughter blackmailing these people trying to get even more money from them and yet oh yeah you're not going to hurt my daughter again hannah applause to being a parent but at what point are you going to let these kids suffer for the consequences of their actions like it, it just makes it sound like you're even more hypocritical than before you know talking about how why it needs to pay for his crimes and whatnot yet you're not and i get it technically getting stabbed and whatnot because Jim sent these surges and whatnot after Benny that isn't due process but at the same time how can you not expect them to face some sort of consequence for their actions because I was scratching my head like you know Benny gets out of the hospital and then he's like you gonna let me come home yeah you can come home and then instead of being respectful you burst into your mother's bedroom without even knocking kicking out her not boyfriend but you know her love interest Derek and just being disrespectful, yet you haven't agreed to sign the money back over, let alone, you know, respecting your mother's own privacy. So I feel like if Hannah isn't going to step up and parent her kids, then let them face the consequences, whatever it may be. Like, I don't mean to sound cruel or anything like I want deaf to come to Candace and Benny. But I mean, if they're going to keep playing this game, then I don't know what Hannah expects to do. I mean, the energy you spend slapping the piss out of Jim and whatnot, you need to use that same energy to slap the sense back into your son. So once again, I am not trying to diminish the cliffhanger. That was amazing. I love the scene. I'm replaying it over and over again. But when you break it down in terms of why what happened happened, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like Jim sounded like a darn uh, slave plantation owner, which is fitting for the Black History Month. Is like what? Yeah, you're a bitch. You're a trifling bitch. You're you're a couple of bitches. Boom, bop. Then earrings came off. You knew it was going down. But 
Um, like I said before, uh, we will get some more interaction with Catherine and Jim next week. And, and I'll talk more in my trailer breakdown, but I felt the need to do maybe a couple of separate videos between the actual fight and then what led up to the fight because I I feel like Hannah needs to let these kids either face these consequences or just get up in Benny's face and like, look, yes, Jim Cryer had you stabbed, but guess what? This is what happened because you didn't get back the money, which leads to another question. Let's say if Candace by some means gets the money back, which makes no damn sense because Lloyd, the banker, is aware, thanks to Jim, that Candace was the one that took the money thanks to an account set up by Veronica. So if she's trying to get a new bank account set up, it's not going to work because Lloyd knows to watch out for Candace Young's name or Veronica's for that matter. And also, let's say if they tried to transfer the money from the joint bank account to Candace's account i'm pretty damn sure lloyd will block it not even not even the whole federal block thing that um landon set up i think th this will be something completely orchestrated by lloyd thanks to jim because he now knows yeah if i mess up a second time jim is probably not going to be as lenient as before when all he did was call me out of my name over the phone so even if somehow which i don't even know how this would occur because remember hannah has to sign the documents as well not just Benny. Candace is not getting the money. So that's why I'm really tired of this whole money arc. Give the money back already. So, um, yeah, you know what? I need to calm down because I feel like the more I talk about it, the more I diminish my enjoyment of the actual cliffhanger ending. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you feel like Jim got what he deserved? Like I said before, he kind of was asking for it, getting up in the faces, calling the B word and everything. But at the same time, when is Hannah just going to kind of step back? And I understand it, not wanting harm to come to your children. But at the same time, when are you going to put your foot down and tell them enough of these damn games, sign this money over, or I won't be able to stop them. You would think like a black mother would want to instill more fear in the child than the people sending thugs after them. That's one thing. So th that's really all I have to say. Um, subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, I'm not trying to make people feel bad about enjoying the scene because I enjoyed it. But I think Hannah is becoming a bit as annoying as Benny and Candace. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.